Hi everyone, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and clicking. Welcome to another episode of Talk Time with Oju. So today, I'm switching it up a little bit. Transform my Nepalese friend to a Nigerian. Yes. Are you ready? You are in for a big ride. Yes, you are. She will soon be here. She will soon be here. She just called me that she's on her way. So let's wait for her, okay? Till she gets here. Yay! I'm so excited. I'm really, really excited. She's here. I think she's here. Greenpeace, we enjoy our work, so we met and we found out that we have a lot of things in common. Mm -hmm. She really wants to start a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. so I guess I'm an inspiration. Yeah, right? you are. Honestly, I want to know how it works. I want to see how the pro does it. Uh huh. Um, plus, I'm we're both trying. international students, so mm -hmm. we have that in common. I'm a long age student. Come on. International citizen of the US. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we have a lot in common. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, of course, we do have a lot of things in common. So today, she's going to become a Nigerian, like we said. You ready, right? Yes, let's do it! Let's do it! Woo! Woo! <laughs> so, yeah. what do you have planned for me today? Okay. Uh, I'm dying to so, know. I know, okay. So, Samrini is going to like test the food. Our Niger delicacy, she's going to eat the Number food. One. Number one. I'm going to like tie a headgear for her with and... our African print. And thirdly, she's gonna speak Nigerian. I'm from Igbo. Igbo is the tribe. We have like three main tribes oh, and no. a ton of other tribes. So she's gonna speak my native language today. Dude, I'm sorry to all the Nigerians. I'm trying not to butcher it. I'm trying to make it perfect. Please Let's do see. not butcher it, okay? No hate. Only likes, okay? Only yeah. shares and likes. Yes, only likes. <laughs> yeah, so she's gonna speak Igbo language. You guys are gonna hear her speak that. And lastly, she's gonna give us some bedu. Hey, she's gonna dance. Be -be -be. Don't have any kind of African dance. So let's see how that goes. Yes, yes, she's gonna party today in all our different Niger music. So that's yes. what we're doing. So firstly, we are starting with the food. So let's see what let's I see have in the in fridge. Let's see what we have in the fridge. Guys, first is the African moi moi. You know this can be found once, right? Niger Jalov. So this was already prepared because I know she's coming today. So this is our Niger Jalov in here. This is the chicken, baked chicken. Everything is already made. Hey guys, now we're gonna set it up. I'm gonna help Uju um, set up the food, and yeah, we'll see when it's ready. Guys, look what I found in Uju's freaking kitchen. She's a millionaire. Why are you working for Greenpeace, huh? Look at this. Okay guys, I'm gonna put a big piece for myself because I'm a fat ass. <laughs> I eat a lot of food. Okay, so would you say Nigerian food is like healthy? 
like as a whole cuisine yeah 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 you say it's healthy? yeah um of course i think nigerian food is healthy but a lot of people we argue because we use a lot of oil in most of our food most of our um traditional soup we put a lot of palm oil but not a lot a lot mm. but there is always oil in our food some people we argue that oil is not healthy mm. for you your heart and all that but for the most part we try to eat healthy we don't eat processed food exactly yeah I mean. mm -hmm. yeah all our food are cooked from scratch yeah that yeah so healthy oil is not the biggest the thing. biggest thing right yeah we cook all our food from scratch the vegetable everything it's like whole foods like rice mm -hmm. and meat and vegetables yeah for yes. sure yeah we hardly like use processed food exactly is that like that in Nepal too? Yeah, Nepal is not like it's not burgers, it's not fries, it's not pizza. It's, like our staple food is rice, oh, yeah. dal, which is lentils. Oh, great! Some form of meat, whether it's goat or chicken, and it's like in a curry form, mm -hmm. as you say. And then a lot of vegetables like yeah, sag, which is um, spinach. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of broccoli, called cauliflowers, um, potatoes, mm -hmm. our favorite. Oh, so great. yeah, our staple food is like that. And of course, dumplings, momos. I will, but we're gonna make another video, you guys. Stay stay in tune because I'm gonna make Uju try momos. So okay. Because that's gonna be our second part of this eating food in different cultures video. Oh yes. So look forward to that. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, look at all that steam, guys. That's what you meant, right? Well, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So the steam actually makes it hot. And that is why um, we don't take it out from that. Okay, cool. Yeah, you will see how it looks when we finally bring it out. So it how actually do we looks like this. Oh. Yeah, but. So, what is it made out of? What is what is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. You know beans, right? Beans? Yeah. Beans, yeah. So, it's made out of beans. I think I have one here. No need. Okay, yeah. So, it's made out of beans. Mm. So, you kind of like soak the beans and take out like the chaff from the beans you know when you take out the back of the beans mm -hmm. you understand what i mean yeah you suck it for some time i don't know what she's talking about <laughs> what do you mean the back of the beans um the chaff you know like when you is suck that an beans. english word what? i think that's a nigerian word yeah yeah maybe it's a nigerian word but actually um how am i gonna explain this but you know when you soak you know when you soak peas right mm -hmm. into water mm -hmm. that stuff that comes out but like the actual thing is still there mm -hmm. That. Yeah, so you no, so you take out that thing, then the beans without the roughage. Let me just put it like that. The roughage. I don't know if that is right. The inside of the beans. <laughs> let me show you something. Okay, I don't know how to explain this. So let me show her. Let, let me show her. How do you know when this is ready? Um, I think it's actually ready. Most of the time, we just do it with time. You remember, like when we put it, it was like six forty-seven. Yeah, so right now it's 7 o'clock, so I think it's actually ready. 15 minutes, guys. Yeah, 15 yeah, minutes. So I think yeah. this is, yeah, we're just going to like turn it off and... Nigerian water guys <laughs> special Nigerian water from the <laughs> Nile River which is not even in Nigeria so we're gonna try the moi moi first remember we made this by steaming it I've never tried this I don't even know what this is okay just try any it. last words before I eat it no last words <laughs> <laughs> what? I did not expect that. Really? How does it taste? Do you like it? It's like something similar. The texture is similar to something in our culture. I've tried in Nepali food. Maybe. It's, I don't know. Oh my god, guys. Okay, if you're Nepali and watching this, this is like bara. This is like bara. This is one thing that we have okay. in my my um culture, Newari culture. Uh -huh. Because there's different castes in Nepal. It's okay. not just religions. Like inside Hinduism, there's different castes. Mm -hmm. So Newari people have this dish called bara which is also made out of beans like oh really oh, dude really? we have something called yeah. it okay guys next part is the rice so this rice looks like it's a little bit thicker okay because like you've been to indian restaurants oh, yeah. we have like basmati rice mm -hmm. which is really thin it's white rice this is yellow in color mm. 
Oh my god, it's so thick. That's why I'm not used to how thick it is. Uh huh. But the more importantly, like in Nepal, the white rice, it's it's a side, you know. Mm -hmm. The main dish is like the meat and the vegetables, and the oh. rice is just to complement it, just so mm -hmm. there's some kind of carbs. Uh -huh. So this is interesting because this is has actual flavor. Like yeah. this isn't just a side, you know. Yeah, this yeah. Is actually a dish. Yeah, it's a dish. So it's actually one that. of the staple food. Yeah. But like, I would eat this alone, you know. Like in yeah. Nepal, I can't eat just white rice. Of course, we eat this alone. Okay. Okay, finally the chicken, my favorite part. Yeah, As she you loves said, chicken. I love chicken, it's protein, it's game. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Good, bro. I love it. It's amazing. Uju is a good cook, dude. I've never really tried her food, but so glad you invited me to your house to try this. It's a pleasure. Glad to be here. So. Are you gonna say this in Igbo language? Oh my god. This so, food is delicious. You're gonna wait, say. Wait, so in Nigeria there's many different languages. So you wanna oh, yeah. try this Igbo? Yeah, my tribe is Igbo. Igbo. Yeah, Igbo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Igbo. Oh god. Okay, <sighs> say, say, um. Nyadioto. Nyadioto. How bad? How bad? I think I Okay, 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 wait, wait. Nyadioto. You're not making me the swear words, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, it's not swear words. No, okay, it's like because I do that to people. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Literally, I'm just saying that you should say that this food is delicious. Oh, that's what you're yeah, yeah. So say nia dioto, nia dioto. Wait, nia dioto, nia dioto, nia dioto. Is it tone man? Yes. Oh, you say nia, nia, say nia. Nya, nya, nya. So nya is like this food, oh. right? Yeah. Nya, nya. Okay. Diota, 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 diota. So this food is delicious. So that's what I, I'm telling you to say. So nya, diota. <laughs> Guys, rate me in the comments. Please write out in the comment. Write out in the comment section. I would say like, I'm like what seven out of ten. <laughs> what me, would you say? Okay, let me say. Rate it. I will give you like. Uh, a six, a five, a six, not bad. Five, six, above yeah. average. Yeah, above average, actually. Say it again, say it one last time. New Dota. Wait, new Dota. <laughs> oh. Okay, you try, you try. Okay, now we're just gonna say something in Nepali. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Don't make me say, wait. Don't make me say swear words, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna make her say this food is so good, okay? So yokana. Okay, yokana. 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 Costo. Costo. Mitota. Mitota. Okay, now I'm gonna say the whole thing and you repeat. Okay. Bit. Yokana costo mitota. Yokana costo mitota. I not tried. Bad, not bad. bad. <laughs> cute. Yokana costo mitota. Oh. Napoli is ready. Ready. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Sam, what's your final um, comment? Yeah. This food? Okay, so the rice is my favorite. Okay. Sorry, it's not the moi moi, but it's the rice because it has so much flavor and I'm obsessed. You know, like, we're yeah. cultured, we yeah. like a lot of flavors. We love, like, flavor. we love okay. flavors. I love the uh, flavor and it's not mm. spicy or anything. Mm -hmm. um, and it reminds me of New Orleans food because they also yeah, have a lot of cultures. Yes, I've heard so, that a lot that New Orleans, they have this kind of thing, yeah. which is good. So rice is the best. Mm -hmm. Second favorite is chicken, of course. She's all, I'm surprised she, she didn't say chicken is the first. <laughs> okay. Um, the one thing I would change about the chicken mm -hmm. is that like I'm used to like curry kind of stuff, you know, okay, like a curry. lot of dhol. In Nepal, you call it dhol, which is like the watery part. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm not used to the dry chicken, but I still mm -hmm. like the actual flavoring of it. Okay. And then, yeah, moi moi. The moi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. No, 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 that's fine. Right. So Maybe your second time you're gonna like it. Mm. Yeah. So you're just gonna eat. Okay, now let's just eat the food. Yeah, let's just eat the food. See you guys in part two, where she puts the head headdress on me. Yeah. And then part three is the dance. <laughs>